Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 2 and what could be the finale of Let's Play Pilot Wings. Well, I mean, we only got like uh, four more lessons left to go and then another chopper mission, so we pretty much are at the uh, halfway point. So we gotta do like all the same missions from like lessons 1 to 4 for these four lessons, but they're harder. And we gotta get 140 or more points to pass. Alright, let's do it. Fly through the two rings. Be careful when landing. The icy runway is slick. Alright, at least we can see the rings right there. Oh. Oh dear, they're small. They are very, very tiny. I missed it. No, I don't want to land now! I gotta get the ring! I don't see it! I want to get the ring. So apparently if you land like on the side of the runway even though you're on the runway it does it's a terrible score for accuracy. Well this has to be good, right? Now you're using good judgment. Yeah, now I'm using save states because uh, I got robbed the second attempt. You can do it. I only need 61 points on skydiving. I know I could probably get more if I get on the uh, bonus tile, but it's risky. Maneuver through the three rings, land inside the yellow target area. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Oh, not like that. Oh, that's 70 points over there, but I don't like that odds. You seem to use pretty good judgment. I only got 60. Oh my god, this game can piss right off already. I landed. Well, it was on the 70. Oh! Great! How did I get zero on speed? Congratulations! You are now certified. Alright. A license and expert. There's your password. After touchdown, take care when using the brakes. The rain has stopped falling, but the runway is still very slick. 
240 or more on three objectives. All right. Fly through the three arches. Land on either the left or the right runway ahead, even though I said in the opposite order. Two hundred and forty points on three objectives does not give me a lot of room for error. Mm. I don't know if I like that landing, and I was on a bit of an angle. I'll admit it, your skill is improving. Well, she liked it enough. Keep up the good work, you can do it. I hope so. Maneuver through the five rings, land inside the yellow target area. Okay. I got it right on the 70. That should be a good enough score. 89. So I need 71 points on Rocket Belt. I still haven't found myself in a position where I have to get on the bonus. Fly through the three rings, land on target. Lose points for landing early. But they have, like, score, like, speed for your score. So which is it? Maybe I should try to get on the bonus now? There, that's how you do it. Bonus chance! Bounce onto P. Control the D-pad. Use L and R to change your view. <sighs> I didn't get much with that. Don't waste your bonus stage. Well, I didn't try to, but it got me 105 points. That's more than enough. All right, moving on up. Plants here again. And I still didn't take my Zoloft. I mean, today you will find that the wind is quite strong. Try not to be blown off course. Because it'll make me sad. Take off. 
Fly through the rings over the course, then land on runway. Alright, so the gimmick here is like strong winds. So you have to really line up with the rings right away. And frequently, too. Since the wind's enough to blow you off course. The good news is, at least the rings are larger size than they were in Lesson 5. Maybe I should slow my plane down. Okay, it's working out. It's working out. that landing a little bit. Very nice. You can do it if you try your best. Touch the green bar-shaped beams and land on target. I think the wind will play more of a factor in Rocket Belt. Also, is it just me or are the bars shorter? Oh, there, there they are. Don't you instantly get at least 100 points if you land on the bonus? Okay, what's its pattern? It goes all the way around. Oh god, it goes in a figure 8? I got it! Try to get it right this time. You know what? Ten points is better than the previous attempt. Remember, this is a bonus. Yeah, I it just it tells you that. So that actually gives me more leeway with Hang Glider, and I need 60 points. Ride the thermal current to a 700 foot altitude. Okay, that part worries me. And you had to. Last time it was around, what, 500 feet? Now you gotta get to 700 feet. Why is it so much now? 
I thought, well, it's expert, but what do you expect? I don't know, reason? Like, 500 to 700 is a very extreme leap. Especially if you can't get it on the first vent. There. Okay, that's enough. I need to line up my target a bit better. There it is. Yeah, I know, I'm watching my altitude go down. That's the point. I'm dead. Alright, is that my 60 points? 65. Alright, so now it's a silver license. Tom wants more to review your skills with Big Al. This lesson will be conducted at night. Use radar to lead your way. Oh, 320 or more points in darkness. Have fun with that. Take off and fly through the two moving arches. Moving? What the hell? They're moving now? At least the runway is lit up. Also sounds like it's still windy. And furthermore, where the... Oh, there's the arches. Well, that's only one of them. You said there were two. Oh my god, I missed it. Alright, where's... Let's just find the other one, and then we'll try it again. Uh, okay, okay. I'm gonna start it over. So now we know they're on, like, opposing corners. I wonder if I can get that one first. I think that should be the one I go after first. Yep, that's the first one. And that's the second one. Excellent. I must use Orb as a guide.
Start over. Though I think the wind was making my landing worse. Oh my god, did I actually do it this time? <sighs> it's more than okay. Hey, enough for 80 points. You did well, but you can do even better. Look, I had to replay that landing several times. Just accept what you can take. Be proud, you have done very well. Maneuver through the eight rings, land inside the yellow target area. Oh man, I'm, I'm missing all the rings. So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go for the bonus. Maybe I will just get the corner of the bonus platform. I cheesed it. Land in the pool. <sighs> Could have gotten way more points, but whatever. A nice bonus was possible. What happened? What happened is I'm still doing okay, so just accept it. Rocket belt time again. Touch the three bouncing ball beams. This looks so weird. I mean, you can hardly call them beams, but alright. Oh god, their, their hitboxes are so small! Ah, oh, I lost two points for landing. Okay, so I guess I will try for the bonus. I mean, if you got the bonus, like, on a high one, you probably don't even need to do, like, the fourth event. I wonder if you can get enough points to make that happen. Just... Just, oh my god. This is ridiculous. Look how close I am! I had to use the other view. Jesus.
Oh no! I was on it! I was on it! I biffed it! There, see? Get on first try. It was on the first try, okay? Just... J just take my word for it. What if you can land in the uh, middle of the peas and you get both? I don't think that's how it works. Oh my god, I can't even... I go too far every time. You don't want to know the stuff I went through just to even get here. Alright, I only need 25 points. Fly through the ring at 300 feet twice. Then land on target. Oh, oh, this ring is not big. Remember, you gotta do it twice. done. Uh-oh. I think I already fucked it up. Alright, do the landing over. I was having a hard time finding where the spot was. I know the radar tells you, but when you got, like, other targets that are glowing, it throws you off. Oh damn, that was way more points than I expected. Magnificent! You have earned certification. As you already know, I would like to ask you to do something above and beyond the call of duty. I know you will accept it. Do not be such a coward! I now ask you- oh, okay, fine, I'll go. Okay, take off immediately. Secret command. Lately, the evil syndicate has grown. They now have kidnapped a government VIP that opposes them. Our agent has penetrated their hideout and they await your rescue from the heliport tonight. Please. He is my brother. Well, of course a government VIP would ex oppose something called the evil syndicate. How do you not get opposed? It's in the freaking name! Alright, so we gotta do this mission in the dead of night. can only mean one thing. Targets are going to be harder to spot. Actually, not so much. I 
At least if you're really high up, it takes a long time for their shots to reach you. However, it means their hitboxes are smaller. Oh, shoot. That one almost got me. Okay, I see where I gotta go. The problem with that is... There's a lot of targets. Oh my god. Like, there's a lot more shooting at you. <sighs> Thought that was gonna hit me too. Look how many there are! And there's still more around the... ...perimeter where I gotta land. Ah! Oh, should not have gone for that. Oh, you know, I do it before I reduced all speed. Too ambitious. I don't have to shoot down all the targets, but man, there's like too many of them near where I want to be. Oh my god! This is ri ridiculous. And there's several more over here! And that one knew where I was gonna go before I went there. <sighs> Alright, maybe if I go around this way I can pick a lot of them off. I have plenty of fuel. one for you too. Now this is where I have to execute the landing. I did it.
That looks like there was more than one VIP, but all right. Rescue has been successful. Well, successful-ish. You have done a simply magnificent job. As a reward for your exceptional performance, I hereby award you our goldest award. The Golden Pilot's Wings. In recognition of deeds above and beyond the Call of Duty, you are awarded top honors and Golden Pilot's Wings. Oh, and you beat the game, too. Well, finish the game. And that's it! That's Pilot Wings for the Super Nintendo. They let a top uh, pilot operate so many machines, <coughs> including a rescue chopper, and didn't have to trim his sideburns. So, uh, what do I think about the game overall? Honestly, for a game that was like one of the early Super Nintendo titles, that was just like a demonstration of the SNES's graphical capabilities. It's actually a pretty good game. There's also a sequel on a Nintendo 64 if you want to check that out. But uh, I enjoyed it. It had some moments that were kind of mean, but that just comes down to my skills or lack thereof. But at least we got to see it through to the end. So would I recommend it? If, if you like flight simulation activities, give it a try. So this is the Bong is signing off, saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.